And that's it. I saw a little bit of this before, but you guys have done so much work on this. It's like really nice work, yeah. So um, what I liked about it, the good things, you know, is there's a form to it. You know, there's a shape, right? And everybody knows what the shape is. They know where it's going. They know what happens next. They have a good sense of visual image, like your visual images have a potential to be really strong. So everybody knows, it's like a cartoon, right? So the thing to remember about physical theater, it's like living cartoon art. And you can, and the more plastic you are, meaning, that's a, like a kind of a European way of expressing. They, when they say plastique or something, it means you can stretch. You stretch things. So you've got to have the form first, right? So as Robert would tell you, when you're building a piece of sculpture or something, you have the, the clay. And then that, there, there's the mass, just in a simple form. And then later, the, the next minute or the next day or the next, in the next six months, you can start playing with that. And, uh, but you have to start, and then you have that form. And then you can change that again, you know? So you guys, you guys have the form. And there's also a sense of time that's beginning to happen. Like, the great thing about theater and any art is how you use time. So I think they're conscious of that. So those are all good things. And uh, so I'll start out with that. And then we can talk a little bit more about how to make it better, maybe. And these guys have some things to say, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is the, the, the beginning image with everybody underneath the, um, the blanket is, uh, was a really great idea. And it's a, it creates a really nice shape and the overall staging. Uh, and and uh, the use of space, I think, is really nice. And uh, anything else? Yeah, I love the blanket in the beginning. That was really magical, the way you all came out like that. Yeah. And the way your heads were like that, and, you're all, I, and there wasn't anybody lagging behind. The only thing I would say is, you got to get that blanket longer. Yeah, yeah because we have a bigger illusion. blanket. The illusion was all of these little heads on sleeping. Ah, 
going back and forth, and there's one body hanging out. And that really disturbed me. It was, it was like, yeah. oh. <laughs> Or if you're going to have a body hanging out, which we talked about a little bit, you've got to make use of that. Do something The with guy's it. Uh, right. isolated, so you've got to deal with that. Maybe somehow. he has a yeah. lantern hanging from him, like he's yeah. doing something. Something crazy where he's, you know, it's the end, or some strange thing. But, or make the blanket. Yeah, or this guy's always trying to find a way to, slip, to fit in, you know. So you've got to make use of it if you're going to have a shorter blanket. But, wonderful, uh, wonderful, and and uh, the light. Can we talk about that? The light. You could talk about anything. Okay. Well, the <laughs> what was the gentleman's name? What was the gentleman's name with the brown? Okay. We, here we go. Okay. You are a great clown. <laughs> you are a great clown. That's very good. He's <laughs> <laughs> great clown. What a clown is is you never want to see a clown have to go think, you know? It's just you come out and you, I don't want to all of a sudden go, you know what I mean? It was real, like when it first came out, you were like just following this thing. It was just like, you just you couldn't figure like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't understand this, it keeps like going away. <laughs> what the hell? But, then, but, but then you did one gesture that you, I wish you would have done. You went like this. You know what I mean? And that was like, I saw the acting. So what we do is we just become, we just are. But you never want to see the acting. When you see the acting, it becomes kind of fake. Am I right? Yeah. Yeah, another way to say it is he's, uh, he's actually, when he did that, he's, that's his brain doing that. We're looking at his brain. He's not, it is what it, it is. And you were fine. The decision. Acted. Yeah. But you, you have a very interesting role because you have the role of the, of the, that's a complex, because the, the funny thing in there was just the, the you know like how things happen, like when you, when you, I, this is an old bit, but you, you, you pick up the shoe, and you, <laughs> you know, you know, the, it's the same kind of thing as that, right? Yeah. And that's the only thing about that guy. And I love this whole thing with the light, when you all have the light. It's so and simple. It's like, such a simple idea. Yeah, it's great. You, you guys rock. You guys rock. Right. I also think one uh, with the the clown character, uh, he could maybe one or two moments have a relationship with the audience, like not not overact it, like Robert was saying, but but it, it's just like if you're th thinking to yourself, oh, what the hell, and you could just have just a take to the audience and go. You know, just right. have a, you know, it, there's a, a constant relationship to the audience and, the, and, and get us on your side as, as that character. You know, one of, the, the great, one of the great forms of theater is Shakespeare, right? I mean, it's lived through hundreds of years and people, there's a reason because it's, it resonates. But a lot, most, a lot of Shakespeare's plays are based on clown thought and clown activity. And you have, and a lot of times a soliloquy, you know, those speeches that the characters do, it's actually confronting the audience with their thoughts. And the clown deals in that way, and it's the same poetic way. You know, like contacts the audience. But purely physically in a way. Yeah. yeah. Or it could even be vocally, who knows? But I'm just saying, that's part of the magic of physical theater is that we're all in it together. Like if, if you saw his show last night, you see this kind of video thing going on, and then he comes out, and he, the first thing he does, he jumps in the audience. He's like diving in the pool. That's a great, that's great. And I was watching, I go, yeah, that's cool, because I like to walk on the, on the side of on the chair handles. You know, I've, you know, you've probably done that, too. I like to walk all the way back and forth over people on the arms. And I'm saying, yeah, I've got to remember to do that sometime again. Because, you know, so he inspired me to remember something that I knew. And if you're little, yeah. if you're really small, you can yeah. walk on people's heads. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be really small. But, yeah, this, but there's that contact. So that the, great art, the great beauty of this kind of art form is that the audience loves you and they want to feel you and you want to feel them so the whole it's a big party it's basically a big party yeah you know and uh but but again like robert was saying if as soon as you start sort of indicating and sort of acting those actions those behaviors thing then it then we don't believe it anymore We're not, and the audience isn't on your side thing comes up and you're, and you're like, <laughs> no, like another hand comes you know up what I mean? it's like it's a, what, foot, a foot comes a up foot upside comes down, down. Yeah, yeah. Foot comes up. What the? <laughs> and then the, the yeah, whole that's a beautiful idea. a whole leg a, a whole leg comes out and falls out the side 